Yes. All right. We are ready for story time. All right. Well, today's story is going to cover all of the stories that we've done throughout story time. So we'll have to see if you remember everything we've talked about. Last week, we went through all of our colors, right? We did yellow and black and red, white, blue, green, and back to yellow again, right? So this week, we're going to kind of talk about that too, but it's going to go through all of the same stories that we've talked about from the very beginning, okay? Do you think you remember all the stories? I do. Caleb, do you remember all the stories? No. <gasps> all right. Well, here's your chance to remember them. <laughs> okay. Let's start. Okay. Here's the first page. I'll take my little thing off, okay? So they've got some pretty pictures in this Ooh, book. Pretty. Is that a butterfly? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and a big moon. It says, everything about God is beautiful, good, wise, and perfect. God made the universe with earth in it. He made the sun and moon and stars. He made the plants and animals and birds and fish. Then he made people. So do you remember talking about how God made everything perfect? And what color was that? Yellow. Yellow. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But then we talked about Adam and Eve, right? And how they sinned and they ate the piece of fruit that they weren't supposed to eat. And that means that all of us also have sinned, right? We have meanness in our hearts, we, and that's the color black, right? So let's read this page, and then I'll talk a little bit more about that. See all those pictures? There's a toucan up there in the corner. <laughs> it says, have you ever noticed how hard it is to always be good, kind, loving, and unselfish? Do you think that's hard? Hard to be nice all the time, right? Sometimes we get angry. Sometimes we fight with our brothers and sisters. Has no. that ever happened to you? No. You well, never I'm fight? Angry? I well, get angry I'm... when my doggy bites me. Ooh. Well, my doggy, well, my doggy hit my dad and me. When we're playing, when we're running, we accidentally got to get hit. And then actually, and then when we play talk, she, she actually attacks me when I get on the grass, and then she attacks me, and I had to go hide. So actually, when we play talk inside, that means that means we are uh, we we get attacked, and ah. that means I'm attacked by her and and my dad. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Do you yes. think it's? Also hard to obey your parents when yeah. they tell you to do stuff. Sometimes you don't want to obey. And yeah, yeah. And it's so boring for me. Yeah. yeah, sometimes they send you to bed when you don't want to go to bed. Yeah, right. and just want to play. And sometimes I can be at bed and I don't have to do anything because I'm a little. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This Dad? Did you hear that? That was a thunderstorm. In yeah, I did hear some thunder outside. Yeah. You're right. Uh, that was actually in my, that was uh, out, outside in my house. Well, I had thunder outside of my house, too. Me um, too. <laughs> this also asks a question, how hard it is, or have you noticed how hard it is to always love God with all your heart? Do you think it's hard to love God with all of your heart? always the whole heart that's a lot of work right sometimes we forget to love god and we love our moms and dads instead <laughs> and we forget about god right yes yeah and it's good to love your mom and dad too but then we also want to always god. love god and what and what we do is that we need to we have to we have to um we have to listen, obey, and listen to your parents and grandma. But yes, so and if, if anybody and anybody tells you what to do, that means you have to do listen. it. You're right. Exactly. Yes. Well, like other people, sometimes you do bad things too. 
God could punish us like we deserve, right? When we do bad things. Yeah. But, but if you do anything, then he will punish you and he won't like he will be just he didn't Well, do. yeah, he could Ooh. punish us, right? God could punish us, but does he? Yeah. But he doesn't want to. He can't just let you punish you. It's not very nice. Yeah. Well, we deserve to be punished. Yeah. What, Miss Stephanie? God doesn't want to punish us either. But yeah. is your punish your God by yourself? That is okay. All right, let's keep listening. So, but because God loves people so much, he wants to fill his beautiful heaven with people who will live with him forever. Our sin should keep us out of heaven. But instead, God invites everyone, you too, to come to him and ask for forgiveness for our sins. And he promises forgiveness to each one who asks. So even though we have meanness in our hearts and we're sinful and we deserve to be punished sometimes because we can't always love God as much as we should and sometimes we um, do bad things, right? Um, he still loves us and he wants us to live with him in heaven if we ask him to forgive us, right? So how can God just forgive us? How does that work? Next picture. It says, if God forgives us, does that mean that the bad things we do are not really that bad? Do you think that's what that means? If you don't listen to your mommy, but your mommy forgives you, yes, I mean, that it was okay to not listen to your mommy? No, if you don't listen to your mommy, that means she will not listen to you. If you have to do something, that means if you if you write something or trace or read, just do something. Or just have a, a relaxing time or just feel the breeze or do something. Mm. Yeah. So. Or, or with your dad, he, he likes to... When when you when you need to do something, he will tell you. When when he doesn't need anything, that means you can be you, you can take a break and feel the breeze. Yeah. And, you're, and actually, he kind of he kind of doesn't. Uh, ah. do well, this says that even though God forgives us and doesn't punish us, He still punishes everyone. This may be kind of hard to understand. But we can trust God. He always knows exactly what to do, and he has a plan. Okay, so even though God offers us forgiveness, and he doesn't necessarily punish us if we ask for forgiveness, right? All of the bad things that we do are still taken care of. Do you know how they're taken care of? Who takes care of all the bad things that we do? Make sure that we're forgiven for them. Do you remember? Who took care of all of our sin? That. Yes, you are take care of our, our badness because of who, that. who did that? Who took care of it for us? He, uh, uh, Jesus. Yes. 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 Jesus. Can we do that ourselves? Yes. No, we, we can't fix it. We broke it, but we broke something that God made. If I break my mug, I can just get some glue and fix it because it's it's not a very important thing. But what God made, our hearts, our relationship, it's too big for us to fix. Only God can fix it. That's right. <laughs> House, I could uh, only God fix it. And I, if I could break my dog, I had to find I can fix the things that we break. Yep. Okay. Well, God has the power to fix us when we break, right? And we're yeah. all broken. And he does that through Jesus. Now, Jesus, here's a picture from when Jesus was born, right? Remember that story? Oh, yeah. Christmas. Um, Jesus is one of three persons who are God. Okay. It's called the Trinity. Three persons who are God. And Jesus was willing to come down from heaven to become a real human like we are and to die for our sins. Remember that story about Jesus dying for our sins? Which color is that? 
When Jesus died for our sins, what color? Do you remember? Caleb, are you answering? Um, uh, what color did he die? Red. Yes, nice Good. Shirt. Okay. And that makes us which color? When Jesus died and the color is red, and before our hearts were black, what, are, what color are our hearts after? Jesus died. Um, He cleans us all off with his blood, and then we're, what color are we when we're clean? Look, Miss Stephanie's pointing. <laughs> what is this? What color is this? Color is the wall. Is it my wall so clean? Yeah. White. <laughs> Good. Okay. Here's the next picture. See the cross in the background? It's kind of a dark picture, isn't it? A sad picture. This says, Jesus is perfect. Even though he had never had one bad thought or said one mean word, so he never had any meanness in his heart, right? He was perfect. He was punished as if he had done the worst sins anyone could ever do. So even though all of us have meanness in our hearts and Jesus didn't have any he got punished and we don't get punished does that sound fair no uh, no it's not fair and we don't get punished from our class or anything because if you get punished that means you're dead so no one it, <laughs> what does it mean that jesus died even though it wasn't fair why did he do that for us? Does he love you? Yes, he does. Do yeah. you think he loves you so much he'll die for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw Josiah say yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So because he was given the treatment that sinners deserve, that all of us deserve, God can now treat forgiven sinners as if they lived Jesus's perfect life. So because Jesus took the punishment for us, now we can live as if we were Jesus, as if we were perfect. That's how God sees us, right? He sees us as perfect. Does that make sense? Kind of complicated. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now here's the next part of the story. Okay, here's the picture. Kind of <sighs> a different picture. It says, to complete his plan, God raised Jesus from the dead in how many days? Do you remember? Four years? There was three days. Three days. And then God raised Jesus from the dead. Soon after that, Jesus went back to heaven. The best thing about being forgiven is that someday we can go to the amazing and wonderful place called heaven too. This is a place where everyone is good, happy, loved, and peaceful forever. You may be thinking, how can God forgive me like that? Do I have to do something? Will it take a long time for God to forgive me? Do I have to be older? Do you have to be older for God to forgive you? <laughs> yeah. You do? You think God only loves grown-ups? Or God only to forgive grown-ups? Or does he love everybody? Will he forgive everybody, even little kids? What do you think? What, Kayla? A couple people are really noisy. <laughs> what do you think, Caleb? Do you think God is going to love and forgive everybody or just, just grown ups? Everybody. Everybody. That's right. <laughs> even if you're little, even if you're really, 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 really old, God loves us all. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So God will forgive you right now so that you can have a place in heaven. It's his gift that he gives you. Would you like God to forgive you so that someday you can live with him in heaven? Yeah. Yeah? There are two words in the Bible that tell how you can get this gift. The first word is believe. Believe that Jesus alone could die for you and that he died so that God can forgive you for all the bad things you do. Believe that he came back to life. And there's the picture of him with the children. <clears throat> okay, the second word is receive. Receive Jesus as your savior. The perfect one who died on the cross for the things sinful people do. That means telling him you are sorry for the bad things you do. It means telling him that you want to live with him in heaven with all the forgiven people someday. Receiving Jesus means telling him that you want his special gift and you want him to forgive you. Do you sometimes ask your siblings if they'll forgive you when you get into a fight? Or your mom and dad, do you ask them if they'll forgive you when you say sorry? Do you ever ask that? Uh. Or have you heard maybe your sister or um, one of your parents ask for forgiveness? Say, will yeah. you forgive me? Forgive. Or your grandma, or your daddy, or mommy, or your sister, or your uncle, or auntie. Yeah, Good. For buddy. So or just like we can forgive each other, right? I can forgive you, and you can forgive your sister or your brother. Then God also forgives us when we ask, right? We just have to ask and say, will you forgive me, God? from this than in my heart okay okay we're gonna keep going got a few more pages the next one says and you know this you can trust god he loves you he forgives you and he wants you to live forever in heaven keep trusting him your whole life you show that you accept god's forgiveness by being baptized, reading your Bible, praying, and obeying his word. Do you remember what we talked about with being baptized? What color was being baptized? Blue. Blue. Good. And what do we say in addition to being baptized or when we get baptized, what are we trying to do? Can you get a secret? Do we want other people to know that we're being baptized and that we love Jesus? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Caleb knows it. So we want to share, right? Share yeah. what we're doing. Yes. And that we love Jesus with other people. Jesus will be your friend forever. Someday he will take you to heaven to live with our amazing God. Here's the picture for this page. Lots of pretty fields. Okay, let's see, can't turn the page. Okay, the Holy Spirit is the other of the three who are God. He mm. will come to live inside you and help you love God. He will help you obey God and praise him. So you're not alone when you ask God to forgive you and when you try to be good and get baptized and share with your friends and read the Bible and pray. Right? You also have the Holy Spirit with you to help you love God. Okay. And he also will help you grow. Right? What color was our growing in God? Green. Green. Good. Josiah Good. was here. Josiah's wearing green today. Yeah. Blue. <laughs> yeah, Does it up. have a turtle on it? No. Not yet. Robot. 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 Love <laughs> robots. Nice. Superheroes. Flash. Green Lantern. Oh, you've got the Green Lantern. There's green. Yeah. All right. So, Miss Erin, what is green going to help us with? 
So green is going to help us as we get to know God and love him more. And finally, right, here's a church. We're all going to church. It says, tell all your friends the wonderful story of how much God loves us. Welcome to God's special family, the church. And there we can grow together in Jesus. Okay. Awesome. So you guys know once, some people think that once we know Jesus, we're done. But now we know that green means we grow in Jesus. We grow and to know him better. To be big, strong Christians, like we want to be big, strong people. Like plants grow big and strong. Oh, yes. Mm. Just like Brian's showing us right now. We need sleep to help us grow too. We can't stay awake all the time. We need sleep to rest our bodies. Yeah. So what comes after that green? What comes after that growing? You remember? You remember? Yeah. Summer. What comes after green? Are you showing us, Ryan? Hello. Hello. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So yellow is bright and shiny like the sun like gold like heaven so some people also think that once you know jesus you're done and you go to heaven and that's it but we know that we want to grow so we can know jesus here on earth too it's going to be awesome to get to celebrate with jesus in heaven after we die but it would be kind of boring to be on earth all this time and not get to hang out with jesus i mean that's why he made us right Remember in the beginning, God made everything and he made it very, very good. He made us and he wanted to have a relationship with us. And that was the way he wanted it. And we messed it up, didn't we? We messed it up really bad. So God fixed it. All right. So here's, here's another cup. Do you know what's in my cup? Is it juice? <gasps> Nothing. <laughs> it up so my cup is empty and I'm really thirsty what do you guys think I should drink to help me not be thirsty anymore water yes, I need water our bodies all need water right or else we get oh we get really dehydrated and our throats hurt yeah we need water to keep our bodies moving right do we need just a little bit of water just like maybe if God just gives me like like a little bit and then and then I just take a sip and I'll feel better. Is that, is that all that we need? Yeah. Just a little bit of water, that's it? We never yeah, no, need water again. We need a lot. We do need a lot, because our bodies are gonna keep going on for many, many years. If this is all the water I have, I'm gonna, you know, I might be good for a minute, but I'm not done. My body still needs water tomorrow. And then I said, yeah, see, Miss Erin's almost out of water. She just has a little bit. She has what she needs for right this minute, but in an hour, she's going to be thirsty again, right? Mm -hmm. She's going to need some more water. So, yes, I'll get what? Water. What? I'm going to get some water to drink. Good thinking, yes. All right, so Jesus doesn't want to just give us a little bit of water. He doesn't want to just make us happy for a few minutes. He wants to heal our heart. So he's going to give us a little more than that. All right, you think that's good? Is that all that we need? Or are we gonna need some more? We need to, no, 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 no. We do, we need more. Because now I just have enough for, for this evening. But what about tonight? I, am I still gonna need God tonight? Yeah, you can drink water tonight. Yeah, what, about, to what about when that thunder comes back? We know we heard thunder earlier. What if there's a big scary storm and I get scared? Can God make me feel better? Yes. If yeah. you're born to your family's mm -hmm. family bed and my my in our bed, so I was stinky and I don't like it. Yeah, it can be scary. Lots of things are scary. Are we scared about the coronavirus right now? No, we're not. It's just uh I'll try. Well, yeah, I mean, we're, 
we're careful, right? Because we have to wash our hands and take better care yeah. of ourselves. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're, we're a little bit scared. Yeah, there's but, a lot of things that can hurt us. It's okay to be scared of stuff. Because we know that God's going to take care of us, even when we're scared. So God can protect us and make us feel better. And then what about when we're really happy? Do we want to celebrate with Jesus when we're happy? Yes, let's yeah. So we need to celebrate Jesus. Yeah, so, so our Bible verse today is about how God wants us to have great things, not just in heaven, but now when we're little kids and when we're big kids and we're grownups and when we're mommies and daddies and when we're grandmas and grandpas and when we're so old, all of our hair is white and we need help walking, no matter how little or how big you are. No matter where in the whole world you are, God wants us to have great things. And he wants you to have so much, you can give some away, right? Like he doesn't want you just to have a little bit of water. He wants you to have all the water you need, plus water for somebody else. What if somebody else is thirsty? You want to be able to give them some water to drink too, right? If Miss Amy were right here, I would give her some of my water. I would help fill her cup. But I'm not going to pour water on my computer because that would be very, very bad. Please do not pour water on your computers. If you don't drink water, then you will be tired. And then if you drink water, if you drink water, you will be alright. But my my dog drinks like this. like this. Yes, exactly. So can you guys see my cup? Is it full yet? Yes. It's kind of full. It's not full yet. So I'm going to put some more water in it because God wants us to have can you guys see that? Wow. Okay. So this is how much Jesus wants us to have. Oh. Oh, no. It's spilling. It's spilling. Did you guys see that? My floor's all wet now. God wants us to have so much goodness that it's, that it's overflowing. All right. Do you guys know what that word is? What? Is my cup full now? Yes, it it's is full. Too full. Full, yes. More than full. <laughs> that one smells too much more. All right, so our verse today is about how God wants us to have a full life. Does that mean that bad stuff is never going to happen? No. Bad stuff is still going to happen because that's just life. Because we live in a, you know, there's black all over this world. All Black hearts everywhere. All right, because so we messed up. We brought sin into our world. So there's going to be bad stuff that happens. Sometimes it's going to be bad stuff that we made happen. And sometimes it's going to be bad stuff that other people made happen. And sometimes, the, you know, that's just the way it is. But God wants to be with us even when the bad stuff happens. He wants to heal our hearts, make us happy. He wants to help us get through it. So he's always going to be pouring more water and more good stuff. Yeah? All right, you guys ready for our verse? Yeah. Okay, our verse is from John 10.10, 10, and this is one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible because, because of that cup, because it shows how much God loves us and how great he wants our lives to be. Are you ready? Or is very wet right now. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? All right, so this is what Jesus said. Jesus said it was his with his word. So we're gonna do Jesus. Do you remember the sign for Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. Good job. Said. Jesus said that said the thief comes to steal. Thief comes to steal. Steal. So steal something. Take it away. You, if, if my cousin would steal my, my, my stuffed animal, yeah. he could have took, took my ammo. Yeah, so Jesus isn't talking about stealing our toys, though, or stealing our stuffed animals. Jesus is talking about how Satan wants to come and steal our happiness. He wants to come and steal our relationship with Jesus. Uh, Satan is full of black hearts. Satan, he doesn't want his heart to change colors like we do. He wants it to stay black and he wants everyone else to have black hearts too. So he's trying to steal all the goodness out of our lives. He wants to steal Jesus away from us. Do you think he's going to be able to? Can, can Satan steal Jesus away from us? No. Mm -mm. Jesus is too big and strong. Way too strong. 
Ooh. Right. Yeah. So the thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. Can you do that? Whoa. Steal, kill, and destroy. Can you guys? He's trying to fight us. Can you fight? Show us your fight moves. <laughs> yes. Good job. Yes. Look at that. So the, uh, so the thief is coming to hurt us. He's coming to steal Jesus away, trying to hurt us, kill us, and destroy us. Yes. All right. But what did Jesus do? Jesus said, but I come that you would have life. Can you show me that? This is life. Show me that? Life. And to have it just like this, to have it to the fullest so that your cup is overflowing. To the fullest. Can you show that cup getting fuller and fuller and fuller and fuller and fuller? Oh, it's overflowing. Yeah. Very nice, Caleb. Just don't fall out of that chair, okay? <laughs> yes. All right, are you guys ready? Jesus. Jesus. Said. Said. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The, the thief comes to steal and destroy. destroy. Yeah. He's trying to beat us up. Is, is he going to be able to destroy us? Can Satan destroy us? No. No. He's going to no. try. He's going to try. It might hurt a little bit. You know, we might need Jesus to help, help us get back you, from the hurt. You can get the champion on. Please. Yes. But Jesus, but I come that you may have life and have it to the fullest. So we can have it abundantly. So we can have all the best stuff. Can you show me the coolest? As big as an elephant. As big as an elephant. Do you want to be like a little happy? Or should we be like a lot happy? We a lot of an elephant. Yes, that's how much Jesus loves us. That he wants us to have everything. That he wants us to have the best Yes, like all of the giraffe for sure. Yes. Yes. Hey, you know, Caleb, giraffes are my favorite animal. Did you know that? They are definitely my favorite animal. Yes. What's your favorite animal? Um, um a hippopotamus. <gasps> nice. Josiah, <laughs> yes. what's your favorite animal? Hello. I'll get to you, Ryan. <laughs> Josiah, what's your favorite animal? Um, my favorite animal is um baby jaguars. Baby jaguars. Baby jaguars. Nice. Wow. Like the one in Diego. Go Diego, yeah. go. <laughs> That's awesome. That's cool. What about you, Ryan? My favorite animal is a dog. Oh, hey, there you go. Tried and true. <laughs> yeah, everyone's favorite animal. Very nice. Also the dog. Well, I, I, I like Athena. Yeah, Athena's cool. Are, are you guys ready to do the verse together? All right, let's do the verse. All right. Who, who's talking in our verse? Uh, wait. Jesus. Hmm? Jesus. Yeah. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Jesus said, yeah. the, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Good job. But I come that yeah. you may have life. Life. And have it to the fullest. Okay. Oh my goodness, just like that, guys. So cool. Yeah. yeah, he wants us to have great things here and in heaven. Okay. Ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And did you know forever starts right now? Like once, 
like right right this minute once you love jesus once you trust in him that starts right now it doesn't start when you're big it doesn't start when you're a grown-up it doesn't start when you get married or when you have babies or when you're in heaven it starts right now well when i was a baby i i got it i was a baby and i was in my mommy's tummy mm -hmm. yep yep I was that's true yep right in there yep in mama's tummy Yep, we all were at one point, which is super weird to think about, but God made it just the way that he wants it to be. He made all of us. It's very I, um, had it when it was alive. Yeah. Miss Becca, do you have a prayer for us? I do. So we were talking about our favorite animals, and we were talking about things that make us happy, and then we should be a lot happy, right? Well, mm -hmm. God made all of those things that make us happy, right? He created everything. So this prayer is to thank him for everything he's given to us. So there's a little picture right here. You can see Bob and Larry playing in the rain. So it goes like this. Gee, we, we always start with what? How do we start when we're praying? Right, we put our hands like that. Okay. And then we say, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. The world you made is beautiful. The world you made is beautiful. I'm thankful to be here. I'm thankful to be here. Your love surrounds me every day. Your love surrounds me every day. It couldn't be more clear. It couldn't be more clear. That's right. I thank you for my many friends. I thank you for my many friends. We like to run and play. We like, we like to run and play. play. We make each other laugh and smile. We make, we make each other laugh, laugh and smile. As we enjoy the day. As, as we, we enjoy the day. That's right. Amen. Amen. Good job, guys. Are you thankful for your friends? Yes, yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I have a secret to tell you guys about our story for next week. Our story, and I, I don't know if you're going to be able to guess who, what it is, but our story next week is about a guy that God told him what to do, and he said no. He said no. Oh, you know no. That's not good. Do you think it's good when he says no? Oh, that's not going to go well. Something crazy happened. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited for this story. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. You can guess, but I'm not going to tell you, okay? I'm not going to guess. You're not going to guess? Well, it's going to be fun to find out next week, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you guys going to come back for story time next week? Yeah. Yes. Hi, Caleb. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, right. uh, uh, one o'clock. Okay, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. If you come at one o'clock, no one's gonna be here. I'm gonna be eating lunch. I'm not gonna be eating story. Yeah. Caleb, <laughs> you did a good job on the videos this morning. It's a good time. Oh, we did a, a video for our memory verse this week. Oh. Caleb, do you want to make our memory verse video for this week? No. No. <laughs> okay. Who wants to make it? No. He's trying to be like the character from our story. Oh, yeah. Maybe he can get, he's going to find out next week. That did not go well. <laughs> Uh, don't want to. Don't right. oh make goodness. our video. Ryan, do you want to make our memory verse video? Yeah. All right, Ryan, I'll send you the information so you can make it, okay? <laughs> it to me like it's nap time. <laughs> yeah, well, Ryan's Except for Caleb's. Caleb's yeah. is party time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Caleb's going to go have a party. Ryan's going to go take a nap, and I'm going to finish assembling. <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Just so what are you gonna do? Bye. Did you know it's in the mother's tongue? And I'm gonna make it down my. No, it's more time for my mother's tongue. Thank you. What do you want for a Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs>